hey guys what's up welcome to the 12th html tutorial and in this tutorial we will see how to make tables this will be a very basic tutorial and uh, let me yeah yeah this will be a very basic tutorial and we will see how to make a table and we will not see how to make our table fancy that is actually a topic of CSS which we will cover after our HTML tutorials so we will just see how to make a tutorial how to make a table here so as you can see this is our basic HTML file here I have written the title table tutorial so when you go to your browser you click on refresh you see here the title of the tab is what we have written inside our title uh, tags it's here table tutorial so we will start our table making so as in HTML for everything we use tags so for table fortunately we have to use table tag nothing uh, nothing like unintuitive so we'll start from there this is table now inside tables there are rows there are columns so what the way we write the way we code for tables in HTML is like first we write the rows then inside rows we define our columns and inside uh, every row the number of columns should be equal okay so what we will see first we will define rows then inside those rows we have to define our columns this is the basic funda and all those rows should be inside the table tag here we have written here only the starting part of the table tag okay so we can also this is the closing part of the table tag so first we will start from the first row so whatever number of rows we have to add under the table we have to define for each row we will use a row tag tr and forward slash tr so the number of tr tags that we will use uh, as we have used here so the number of tags we will use for rows will be the number of rows we will have in our table okay so inside each row we will define columns so for table we will use table tag for rows we will use tr tags and for columns we will use td tag okay so for our example we will use only two columns inside each row so if this way we define our table we will have only one row and that row will have two columns if we have to define any other row then we will use another set of rows tags starting and closing and then again we will have to define two sets of column tags because in every row number of columns should be equal so this is the way we define our table now we write here anything like we will write the name of a person we will define his age that was John now we will have Adam his age is 26 he is 2 years older than John country S so this is our table the basic architecture yeah so now we will refresh it we see here John 24 Adam 26 but it doesn't look like a table tables have borders well defined cells so that we can have the idea that it is a table it's like you have written John and 24 is written in front of that then there is a line change then Adam and 26 it doesn't look like a table so for tables there should be borders and clear defined cells so for that we will have to add here border so yes so now if we refresh it so now this looks like a table though it's a very ugly looking table 
but it looks like at least a table one box here defines actually one cell in our table so we see here there are two rows and each row has two columns and this is our border so if we put our border like three and then we save the file go here yes our border is a bit thicker this is our cell this is the space between our cell and uh, the border and this is your border if we had put an only we had put only one then it was like a thin line now we had put three it's like a thick line a bit thicker and if we put something like five six seven it becomes more thicker and thicker but that's not the point the point is we can define here border that will give our structure a table looking kind of feel okay so we have defined two sets of tr tags here so we have two rows and inside each row we have defined two column tags so we have each row has two columns number of columns in each row should be equal and the way we write our table is we write we first define our rows and then inside each row we define columns so first table then rows and then columns now the last thing that i want to cover in the table tutorial here the first part of actually the table tutorial is uh, sometimes we want to have a heading portion in our table i mean the first row will have actually the headings and the remaining rows will have actually data so here it's uh, in our table we have only data we don't have any heading so we will see how to put heading in our table so again we will define a row for heading so for normal columns headings are also inside the columns for normal columns we use td but for headings there is another column another tag that is th so we define th starting and closing and inside that we put our heading and number of headings should be equal to the number of columns that we have in our table okay so our first row has the headings and remaining rows has the columns here the normal data columns so we will see how does it look like yes so we can see here in the first row we have our headings headings are head headings look little different from the rest of the table columns that's the purpose of using the ts tags if we had used only td tags they would have looked like exactly like this the um, other rows in our table so you wouldn't have been able to make any difference so we use the heading we used uh, ts tags so that was all about the tables uh, that actually the first part of the tables in the second part we will see several several other things that we can do with the tables like merging different columns merging different rows and some other stuffs so that was our basic table tutorial so that was all see you guys in the next tutorial and do tell me how you like the tutorials what can i do what else can i cover and don't forget to subscribe thank you Bye, enjoy STM and learning.